Just when you start to think that they couldn't lay another humdinger of an idea on us, the top brass at NASCAR takes a bonk to the head from the stupid fairy, and you get what we got yesterday. Bob Pockers' Twitter is the hub for anything and everything NASCAR news, as well as where you can find the nearest bubble party. Someone tweeted at Bobby P about getting rid of shifting at short tracks. This is something that's been a problem for NASCAR that they feel is why we haven't been able to have really close side-by-side -side racing on the short tracks. It is something that drivers agree with, but drivers also say more horsepower would solve this. So when asked about getting rid of shifting at short tracks, Bobby P responded, they'd like to get rid of shifting on short tracks and hope can find a package that works. NASCAR could have an official monitor live data from the cars and black flag drivers who shift, but they haven't wanted to go that route, especially with no testing with that rule in place. This is where we're at. Whoever came up with this is probably the same numbskull that decided we're changing it from tweets to posts. So you're telling me you're going to have some ghoul up in the tower monitoring every car, all their live data on each and every restart, and you're going to have them wag their finger at a guy or gal if they just so happen to shift? Do you know how insane that sounds? Why the hell would that even be put out on the table? I mean, I could understand you just want to go through any possible idea, just, to, to, just flesh it out throw it out on the table, but but for Pockris to actually tweet about this, it must have made it far enough off of that idea table where they're actually considering doing something this stupid. It sounds like the only thing holding them back is that it hasn't been tested. Otherwise, they actually might want to move forward with this. The answer is so clear, it's right in front of them. Add the horsepower. That'll eliminate shifting. The cars are going too slow in the corners. That's why they have to shift. They don't have enough horsepower anymore. And on top of that, you made the car five gear. Of course, now they're shifting because you gave them that ability. You gave them one more gear. Our beloved sport is falling apart. There are people running this thing that shouldn't be. From, what, from where it used to be it's just 10 years ago to where it is now, the amount of just foul, stinky ideas you start to dissect, you pick them all up. Like how in the world can they not just get like one thing right? Whether it's the playoff format, which hasn't worked for them at all because the ratings are in the tube, or if it's the next gen car, all those driver injuries that we talked about earlier in the week. I just feel like, all these videos I'm making now, each time we're taught, it just keeps winding up at the same spot. NASCAR's stupid fucking ideas. And they follow through with this shit each and every time. There's no one like getting in their way saying, whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute. This isn't what we were. Uh, who are we becoming? What has become of this sport? They will not get out of their own way. They... <laughs> They decreased the horsepower to bring in new manufacturers. How's that going? We still have the same three that we've had since, what, the last time we had a fourth was in 2012. Dodge left after the 2012 season. It hasn't brought in new manufacturers at all. You've been doing this for years with the less horsepower. When are these new manufacturers supposed to be coming along? If it's not going to happen, then put the horsepower back into the damn cars. If it's a cost-cutting measure, you're supposed to be making them all this more extra money because of the charter system. They're guaranteed these starting spots. Don't they have the money to spend to get the engines up a little bit higher with the horsepower? Nothing that they do makes sense to me anymore. We're going to have a freaking <laughs> official up in the tower monitoring all... <laughs> It's just funny to even think about monitoring everybody's restart. And if you shift, no, no, no. Um, 
Black flag, come down pit road. Uh, what's the penalty? Pass through on pit road, stop and go on pit road, deduction of a couple of laps. I mean, how far are we going with this? They always have all the answers and they will figure this out without putting any horsepower back in the cars just to stick it to the drivers and to the fans that all want more horsepower, which we know will give more side-by-side -side racing, but... NASCAR needs to be the one in the right at the end of the day. So they're not going to do it. They're going to go through hoops. They're going to jump through hoops to find other ways to give us side-by-side -side racing. Can you get that without more horsepower? I have no friggin' idea, but I guess we'll see.